guys, my name is Holly, and today I'm going to be making one of those like granny square balaclavas. I saw one that was done in like just black and white, and it's really cute. So I'm just going to be doing it out of regular acrylic yarn. And I have just plain black and white, or I have this like creamy white color, and I don't know what would look better. But also I'm using this for another product, and I kind of don't want to go get more. So I'm thinking... I think I may just do regular black and white. So we're gonna start with just these two. So I believe I need to make, I'm gonna find a pattern for it online. I wanna say 12 squares, it may be more or less. I don't know, we'll just see. I'm gonna make a TikTok of this like while I do it as well. So go follow me on TikTok at Lovely Mushroom Crochet. Um, anyways, let's get started. Okay, so to start, I am going to be using a 6mm crochet hook, and I'm going to start this one with the black yarn. And all I'm going to do is make just like a regular granny square, so I'm going to start with my magic circle, and I'm going to make a granny square out of double crochets. And I'm just going to cut the yarn after each color and join with the next color, so each, like, row of the granny square is going to alternate and so if I start on black I'm going to finish on white and I think I'm just gonna I don't know how big I'll make it I guess I'll just see I did make a I did look up a pattern but I don't know how many I'm gonna have to make because I'll have like one two three four for this five six seven eight okay so I think I'm making eight and then I'll add like a nice border around it all right so let's get started Okay guys, so sorry, I kind of forgot I was filming this video, but it's update time. So I went to my friend's house yesterday and I brought my crochet stuff. Also, pro tip, bring your crochet stuff everywhere you go. You never know when you can do it. And I just do, I can do it while I'm like talking to people and like, I don't know, some people may think you look strange doing it, but if they do, then they're losers. Um, but so I made, how many did I make? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so I have six done. This is, you may notice, lots of ends not sewed in. So that's okay. I will make do with that. I'm thinking I'm just going to tie them and cut them because I hate sewing in ends. And there's so many ends to sew in with these. So yeah, but they look so cute together. And I'm thinking, this is also like inspired me that I want to make a scarf out of these because like they look really cute, like lined up. And I think a scarf out of that would be really cool. But first I'm gonna finish the balaclava because that, that's what I'm making now. So I have six done, I need to make eight. So I have two more to make. I have one, yeah, one of each to make. Um, and then once I finish those, I'm gonna start, I'm gonna tie all the strings off first and then I'm gonna start attaching them together. And I will update you when I get to that point. All right, bye-bye. Okay, finish this one, now I have one more to do. Okay, so I'm just finishing up the last little section on the final granny square. And once I slip stitch into the end, it all the granny squares are done so i have eight in total um get them all. it feels kind of satisfying when you have like a stack of granny squares like i don't actually make many granny square things so actually like being able to like show this off like i made all of these um now i'm gonna get to sewing in no tying and cutting the ends if I really like this wild club, I might add like fabric to the inside, so then it doesn't really matter if you tie in your ends. Um, yes, so I am gonna start with that right now. Okay, 
Okay, so I have these parts sewn together right now. So there's four on the bottom, three on the top, and I'm just doing it with the black in the middle. And I'm gonna leave the, the like the stitching on the outside. I'm doing a black like single crochet. And then the last one is this one that goes up top and it's gonna be attached along three sides there. So that's just gonna be like the top and then that'll be like the little face hole. And I think I may add a border around the face and around the bottom just to make it look a little bit neater and then it will be done. Okay, so this, okay, wait, let me pause the Hunger Games, sorry. This is what it looks like right now. And I don't like how square this is, so I'm gonna add just a black border around here. I'm probably just gonna single crochet around a couple times. And then I think I'll add a little black border down here too. Okay, I've added the border. Also, it's getting dark out, but that's okay. Um, I added the border on both parts. This is what we're looking at right now. Kind of cute, isn't it? Okay, let me let me just. Whoop. Okay, so this is like the look. I need to like. I don't know. I don't think balaclavas look good unless you like have a big chunk of your hair. Oh, maybe too much hair, but but you're gonna you get the idea. You get the idea. Like big chunk of hair out. When I'm wearing like a puffy coat. Oh shit, it's so cute. Oh my god, I really like this. Okay. For the actual ends, I am gonna sew it, sew them in. So stay tuned for that, and then I'll like show you how it looks with a with a jacket. Yay! <laughs> Okay, so it's done. So I'm wearing my coat, just to show you guys, like this is what it would look like on. All the ends weren't actually that difficult to sew in. I tied some of them that were just on the inside, but the actual like, important ones that you could still see, I sewed in. So I would kind of tuck it in like that and then get some of my hair out like that. That one's above. So that's what it would look like if I like wear it out. Isn't it so cute? Oh my gosh, I'm really happy with it. Um, if you guys like this video, please uh, don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Um, and I will see you guys soon. Bye-bye.